Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, and welcome back to Scarland, a land where we take survival building to the extreme. And we're here with the Scott Ranch house building project, working on one super awesome bedroom and a few other enhancements to our house. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back to the Scott Ranch house building here in Scarland. And it's always great to have you here in Scarland. And let's head inside and take a look at some of our previous work. So of course there's our beautiful living room and down the hallway we can find where we worked in our last episode and that of course was our old fashioned inspired bathroom with our beautiful gravity flush toilet looking very awesome. We have our beautiful claw foot tub at the end and of course our sink and let's turn the corner real quick into our bedroom and as you can see we have this incredible four poster bed and doesn't that look so inviting. It's very light where I am right now and I just want to curl up into that bed and fall asleep but no my friends we have a lot of work to do and let's head up to the upper level and get started because I've been eagerly anticipating your guys' help on this because as you know there was not any Scarland episode last week and that's because I hit a bit of a brick wall and that is the interior design for this upper level has been very elusive to me. As you can see there are windows that don't line up. They're kind of mismatched. There are floors that just don't make any heads or tails because of the lower level. And this area up here is just a hodgepodge of stairs and blocks. And I, why is this looking like that? I don't even know, my friends. There are There is seams in our roof that air is coming through. It's getting incredibly drafty in here. Um, so we have a lot of work to do. And uh, I've been kind of stuck on this design. So why don't we just jump right into it? So the first thing we need to do is just form up this room ever so slightly. So what I want to do is I want to put some blocks down. So as you can see, three blocks going this way. It's probably easier just to do this. <laughs> there we go. So as you can see, we're just going to start building up a couple blocks here and there, just getting a few things settled on this upper level. Now, I've been trying to figure out how we can maximize the space because that's what we kind of always like to do is maximize the amount of space that we have inside of our interiors. And this one is just so challenging because of the shape of the roof and the level that the floors are at at the moment. Um, so it kind of renders some of these areas useless, especially with our big, you know, staircases here taking up quite a bit of room, kind of making this area obsolete, unfortunately. So the only areas we have for bedrooms and things of that nature are in these areas. And like we mentioned, some of the windows don't exactly line up. So that is my design challenge. And I hope to, at the end of this video, have made something pleasing for you guys in this space right here. I know it looks awful, but we're going to try. We're going to try. Do you guys have confidence in me? Please tell me you do, because it would sure make me feel a lot better right now. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to kind of sneak back here a little bit and just kind of see if we can kind of flush this up a little bit. Um, I think what I want to do is bring in a couple uh, dark chocolate uh, blocks back here, get that all assembled and ready to go. Feeling a little less drafty already, it looks like. There we go. Looking good, my friends. So as you can see, we just want to kind of clean that up back here just a little bit. There we go. And then let me find, oh, there you are. And I'll put that right there. It was clean this up a little bit. I think we're already starting to get somewhere. Look at this. I think, I think we're starting to make, make something out of nothing here. Um, hello, you're not supposed to be there. Um, and then up in this up, oh yeah. Huh. What if we take some of these blocks, just kind of run them across here like that. And we can bring these ones over here. Just a couple more like that, beautiful. And then, hmm, I have kind of an idea. I'm gonna work with me here with this. Um, bring these pieces downwards like that. Kind of like that one was sticking here just a moment ago. That kind of gave me inspiration a little bit. Yeah, I kind of like that. I think once we take these pieces over here, we kind of run them together like that. Um, this area looks incredibly ugly. I don't know what to do with it, but I think I'll just fill it in for now like that. Similar to what we've done on this side over here. There we go. That's not looking half bad at this point. I think it needs some improvement, but I think that's a good start. Okay. Ah, there we go. We got one stage done. So we got this area cleaned up. So that's looking a little bit better. So next thing we're going to do is let's just take this up here. Get our milk chocolate run in here. There we go. Delicious, delicious. All right. Bring that all the way down like that. And let's jump up here and bring those pieces down like that. Um, hmm, okay. All right. We're, we're, we're getting somewhere. Um, why don't we take these guys like that? Okay. And then I'm kind of liking that, but I'm not liking this all of a sudden. So I'm going to probably back that design off for now. Maybe even leave that one. Like leave that one. That one's kind of nice, but then keep this one blank. I think I'd be happy with that. All right, guys. Now we're back in here. <laughs> I don't know where to go with this. This is so confusing, but we can do it. I, I feel I feel confident. Hopefully you guys feel confident with me. 
Um, as you can see, there's just these little spaces that just don't quite make sense. Anyway, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it right. All right, um, let's grab out some stairs and let's just start bringing down a staircase. I think that's really easy ways of getting into um, problem, problem areas, just to start really small, like maybe a wall here, maybe a staircase here, um, just little details like that, and I think they really start to help kind of emerge the design, okay? So I'm feeling confident about that at this moment. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up these guys like this, bring these up here, and why don't we bring these all the way up to the ceiling for now. Um, there we go. I'm running a little bit low on the uh, dark oak logs, so that is a bit of an issue. So, oh, hello there, Eric the Enderman. He's off into my office down there, and away he goes in a purple cloud. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's looking good. I'm happy with that. Um, I know it looks terrible, but believe me, we're, we're getting there. We are truly getting there. All right, so, okay. So, remember how we talked about having confidence in me? Now this is when it this is when it this is when it really kicks in at this point. This is when it really kicks in. This is when it counts, my friends. You might be seeing me right now putting down green grass, and you're like, "Oh my gosh, Scar, you have really gone over the deep edge." I know it was late where you're at right now, but green grass inside your house, this can't be. This can't be, Scar. <laughs> Believe me, I've got a nice cool idea with this, and we I kind of demonstrated this in a prior episode of the modern house build, actually, the small modern house in Scar World. So what we're gonna do with this green grass, as you can see, we might be actually running a little bit low. I might need to get some more of it, but we're gonna create some path blocks. And what we're doing is we're creating a nice kind of old fashioned rug for our house. Look at this, doesn't this look beautiful? This looks like an old kind of rug that you'd find in an old cabin. And I absolutely love it. It just looks super inviting. I love the color. The color looks great next to a lot of different colors. Um, and I think that's gonna be really sweet. All right. I know, I know, I know this is a little bit crazy, a little bit um, not the not the normal, but come on, we're, we're trying some different things here. Um, there we go, looking good, awesome. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're gonna work on our bed. So when you're thinking of a bedroom, think about who lives inside the bedroom. And with this bedroom, I feel like it's gonna be a kid's bedroom. It's probably gonna be one to two kids, so I'm gonna build a bunk bed. Um, so I think this will be pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give this a spacing of about three blocks from the wall. So we're gonna give that just a little bit of breathing room. Then we're going to sneak back here to, I might, I might, because I don't have any more green grass. I might have to grow some green grass while we're in here. So it looks like we're gonna be growing some green grass and I only have literally one block to make this all work. <laughs> oh, there we go, it's fun. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect these blocks like that and this will help me measure out how far I want to make this. Um, where's my house slabs? There you are, hiding from me, not wanting to become a bunk bed, how dare you? Um, then put these guys like this, there we go, looking good. And then we'll bring these up to about three blocks. We may move them up one block higher, but for now I'm gonna hold it at this pattern right there. Um, so as you can see, there's the basic pattern, super simple bunk bed pattern, but it's one of my favorites. There we go, and always works like a charm. There we go, and where's my brown blanket? There we go, and of course we use a little snow for a pillow. There we go, very nice. And then of course we're going to repeat the pattern like so on either side here. Uh, oh, hello, you're not correct. That's just a little scar mistake, nothing to worry about. And then bring these guys like that, click those together, grab out our wool once again, and we'll bring this all the way down like that. And let's grab out our stair block like so and click those in there like that, looking good. Next stage, let's take a wood fence gate. We'll bring those like that, beautiful, awesome. And we'll click those all together like that. Looking nice, looking nice, my friends. And we need to add the blanket up there but we will, don't worry about that. Little details like removing the dirt under here and bringing this all the way down. I'll definitely, definitely do those, but I'm not gonna get bogged down by adding those details just at the moment. Hello, there we go, awesome. So as you can see, there's our bed built up there. Now we have this window, and we're probably gonna have to cover it up, but uh, don't, don't, don't freak out on me yet because I think it might actually turn out to be a positive change. Um, so we're gonna bring these blocks along this. This is just kind of cleaning up the walls a little bit. So let me clean this all up just a little bit. There's just lots of little odds and ends here and there. So let me do this and I'll catch you guys in just a minute. And believe it or not, my friends, this room is starting to come out. As you can see, we can start to get the remnants of, okay, this is starting to look like a plausible room and I'm actually getting kind of happy with it. 
So all I've been doing lately is just cleaning the walls, adding stairs across here, cleaning up all these little details here and there. And I think we're, we're making some progress finally. And I think the room is starting to come together. Um, I've gotten some really good ideas for other rooms while I've been just kind of putting around down here. Um, will we be able to get to those details? I don't know, but uh, I've got some ideas for some, some things down in the other levels. So I'm actually kind of happy about that. Um, so cutting these pieces out here just so I can bring up my walls a little bit. There we go. So I've been pretty happy um, with actually the way this is coming out. When we started this episode, you might have been able to tell, like, I was like, oh, great. How are we going to do this? But I'm actually pretty happy. Um, this is starting to come out. And it just takes a little bit of confidence. And, you know, you guys you guys said you were going to be confident in me. I, I, I can see in the future. I can tell by the comments from the future. You were confident in this car. There we go. We're in there. I'm just being a bit silly. All right. Um, let's see. Let's hop back in here. So as you can see, this is looking really nice, but it's incredibly bland. It looks like when you've just moved into a house and you're like, man, how am I going to make this look like me? Um, you know that feeling if you've moved into a place and it's really like generic and bland and it's like, it takes a little while to turn that place into, um, you know, something that'd be like, yeah, that's my place. All right. So let's mess around with it. So I'm going to cut these blocks out here. Um, this may need to move because, as you can see, we just broke into the house once again. <laughs> but I just want to create bookshelves up here. That's all I want in this section with some bookshelves. I think that'll look cool. It brings in some color. When in doubt, add some bookshelves. My old saying used to be, when in doubt, add a glass cube over it. Back in Scarland, we built everything with glass cubes over it. Uh, but my new one is, yeah, when in doubt, add some bookcases. All right, wonderful. So we got those cases down like that. Um, I'm just going to add, oh, hello, you're not supposed to be there, you're supposed to be like that, <laughs> there we go, um, good, ha awesome, alright, uh, let's see, where do we want to take this, I want to build, a, I want to build like a dresser, so think of a dresser as, you know, just a little somewhere to put some clothes, and different things like that, so what if, what if, if I started like right about here and right about there, looking good put a couple of blocks down like that so we're just working on a bit of furniture at this point and we're just kind of totally improving this little furniture design and that's kind of like the best kind of furniture that improv furniture there we go i always wanted to learn how to make furniture um okay awesome there we go so let's put this block over here i was learning a little bit of carpentry but i never was able to really get into it unfortunately as much as i wanted to i made a couple of little fun little things i think i've mentioned that in a prior videos before but um that was something i always wanted to be my grandpa and my dad's also really good at it um is furniture stuff so you know putting together little things and i always want what in the world oh i was like what in the world let me put this like this. There we go. I'm like, why do we have the little buttons? I don't want the little buttons. I want the big buttons. Now we have the big buttons looking super awesome. There we go. It's at least my tail, my, my tail, my attempt at trying to make shelves. So you think of these as shelves that kind of pull in and out and you put your, your clothes in there looking very awesome. I'm kind of happy with that, to be honest. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go like that little toy chest, of course. No, can't go wrong without a toy chest. Um, so what if we, what if we, when in doubt, once again, put some bookshelves. <laughs> I love it. When in doubt, put some bookshelves. There we go. Looking good. And I think I'm going to put a bouncy ball right there. That's right. We just have a bouncy ball. Can't go wrong with a bouncy ball. <laughs> no, no, you can't. And a couple, maybe a couple blocks. Now I can't put anything on here, which is kind of a bummer. Um, Okay, we have, we have that. What if we just made a couple extra little buttons? Just little blocks, like little toys people just set around. I think that just looks kind of fun. No, I don't like the two blocks, two blocks. I don't like that. So why don't we cut that off and something like that. It just looks like, you know, somebody's been playing with some toys and stuff like that on the floor. It's like a little car or a little block and a bouncy ball. I like it. It's really, really simple and uh, really nice. So yeah, give me a couple of seconds. Let me do a little more cleaning up and I'll be right back. And welcome back, and as you can see, we now have a little bedroom here set up and ready to go for a kid's room where we have bunk beds and toys and all sorts of decorative details, where once we sat here with a little confidence in the design, and I think this looks really cool in the end. So, as you can see, we have our toy box over here. I reorganized a couple of the toys. I added some columns to kind of break up the bookshelves just a little bit, added a second set of columns back there, and then just around the corner and put another set right there. 
And other than that, I think we are about the same as where we left off. Got the roof line pretty well cleared up. And of course, we'll do a bathroom in the back eventually. But like I said before, I had this idea about a sitting room down in this corner over here by our dining room. So of course, we set up our dining room in a previous episode. I think it looks pretty nice. But one thing it was needing was maybe like a little sitting room, an area where you went after you had your meal or just before. Um, I think it'll be nice to kind of like a little formal type room. Um, the design I was thinking about is actually a Frank Lloyd Wright design. There was this fireplace and it was kind of had these benches built along the sides. I don't think we're going to do any benches, just some chairs, uh, but it kind of reminded me of it. So what the heck? Let's do it. Um, so let's add these guys across here like that. And then we're going to get out some. Oh, not you. These guys. There we go. We're going to run those like that. Um, yeah, I think we're going to do these three high. There we go. That looks way better. Makes the ceilings feel a little higher, a little less claustrophobic, and that's always a good thing. Um, so let's sneak back here and start adding a quick half slab floor. As you can see, that is not a toilet, but that actually is our design for a chair. So I think that'll look pretty cool. I just wanted to kind of throw it in there and just kind of pencil it in just to see if it's going to fit or not. Um, and it looks like it may succeed in our design. So that's always a plus. So why don't we grab out our chair, let's stick it in there, and let's do another one right here. Actually, we're going to need to cut that out, boom and a bam, and then, I don't know, I would kind of prefer it as to be oak. What do you guys think? Let me know. Do you guys think this would look better as an oak or as a spruce? I don't want to do it in dark oak because there's, I'm going to do something else with that in a moment, but something like that, do you, I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think these logs along here would, should be oak or that should they be spruce? Um, it would look weird to do this stair built into there because it would add oak in line with the spruce and that would look really weird. Um, but for the most part, I'm kind of feeling okay about that. But uh, yeah, let me do it over here real quick. All right, and welcome back. And one thing I noticed that I went with lime green instead of standard green that fit throughout the house. Now I might, when I get some more, replace these with standard green like right up there. This is just a little too shiny for my taste. But anyway, um, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sneak back here. We're just gonna add some blocks directly behind the seat portion. And we're going to bring those up to about two, about two high, like so. That's looking decent. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sneak over here and on over here. And then I'm going to put this block right about there and sneak some more stairs below. Looking good. Haha, <laughs> wonderful. Nice. I'm happy with that. And we can put these blocks along here like that. And let's just say we bring that up about two more blocks like that. Awesome. All right. And then we can kind of sneak just maybe just a little bit of smooth stone in here like this. There we go, looking good, I'm happy with that, awesome. Okay, um, this back section here might need to actually be replaced with stone because, well, it's wood and wood and fire just aren't compatible, apparently. So, put these guys here like this and like that, and then we'll clean that up on the outside later so it looks, you know, a little more flush and more in line with the design. Awesome, okay, um, this section over here. So, these blocks need to kind of, if I can get on the right spot and right angles so I can connect these, they're just not connecting. So let me let me jump down here and let me add one there. I'll just use them as scaffolding. There we go. A little wasteful, but you know what? That's all we have. There we go. And then we'll connect these ones like this. And we can start bringing these pieces outwards like that and fill in the center. So as you can see, I just want to take those pieces and start bringing them across like that. So yeah, give me one second here. Let me add a roof and we'll wrap this all up. And there we go, my friends. We have our sitting room next to our living room assembled and ready to go. We have fireplaces, chairs, and all sorts of wonderful things all set up and ready to go. And we have wrapped up that. Let's take one look at our bedroom before we go. And it is almost midnight here, so I'm getting a little bit tired because I've been working on a secret project that you guys are going to be very excited about. So that's why I had to record this video a little bit later. So if you made it to the end of the video, go hashtag secret project in the comments. So please do that so I know that you're awesome and made it to the end of the video. And hopefully you guys liked our dual build here of our bedroom, which we assembled out of a complete disaster area. And then, of course, our sitting room we built off of our dining room. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and we'll see you later.